Hi, in this video we're going to show you yet another tweaking app that you could use to tweak the settings and configuration on your Windows-based computer. Uh, this one's called Tweaky. So this one is free. They do have a pay-for version. And if you buy the pay-for version, it lets you save your settings. So if you want to apply it to multiple computers, you could do so. And I think there's some other additional settings you get with the uh, pay-for version that you don't get with the free one. All right, so once you download it, there's nothing to install. Just run the executable. You're going to have to be an admin to run it or have an admin run it for you. All right, so here's our menu items up here. We have tabs. And then if you have your profiles that you could load, which is probably for the pay for version, I imagine. And you could get to your Windows settings from here too if you want to open up Control Panel or the Settings app or Windows Security and check for updates and enter the license key if you end up buying it. All right, so you have your miscellaneous section. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every setting. We'll just kind of show you the tabs and you can see what's in there. Uh, for privacy, Windows Defender, a default printer, your time zone. And then you can see down here, if it has this little checkbox, that means the tweak was applied and you could right click to undo it. Like so, which is pretty much the same as unchecking it and click on apply. All right, so back to the list here, some error handling uh, options here. So if you want to enable the legacy F8 startup menu. So that gives you the ability to press F8 to get into safe mode. So that's a nice feature right there. Then you have a performance tab here for startup and shutdown. Uh, miscellaneous functionality, a disable background window store app, disable error reporting, optimization settings, desktop display performance here, networking performance. And then also down here, you can select all or select none if you want to check them all. Uh, disable autoplay, disable Cortana, uninstall OneDrive, that's a nice one there. Some Windows Store options, some Windows Update options. If you want to change your power plan, you can do that in your sleep and timeout settings. Disable the lock screen, some nice explorer settings here. So, you know, show or hide file extensions. So this interface explorer tab has sub tabs here. So we have the appearance and theme. If you want to enable the dark mode or light mode, set your wallpaper. If you want a custom wallpaper, uh, desktop icons. So say we want to do the network one, for example, let's apply it here. There we go. I had to refresh the desktop for that to show up. And if we want to get rid of it, undo it. Fresh desktop again. So we want the God mode folder. Let's see how that works. There we go. Okay, so if you want to maybe do a restart or shutdown when you right click on the desktop, let's try that one out. Of course, for Windows 11, you're going to have to go to show more options. So restart and shut down. So that's nice. And of course, we could undo them. Okay, start menu and taskbar settings here. So you want to clear your start menu, set the default start menu if you want to reset it, unpin everything in your start menu, include file explorer in your start menu. Taskbar settings, hide Cortana, hide the task view in Windows 11, hide widgets, hide the chat, hide search box, and that type of thing. Okay, so now let's go to file sharing and network. All right, file sharing network discovery, enable file and printer sharing, enable network discovery. So if you want your computer to show up on the network, you have to check this option here. So you could do it from here. Uh, DNS server settings, if you want to make some custom profiles. And then finally we have branding. So when you go to the Windows settings, if you want to have your own manufacturer name or model or phone number or support, you could put that in there. So then it shows up in the uh, Windows settings itself. Then you can have this open the system properties. So this is where it would show up here if you set those options. Okay, so this is a nice little tweaking program. There's, so there's a lot of options, but like I said, if you want to save these settings, uh, then you're going to have to buy the uh, professional version. So that's $50 right there. So it's not too bad if it's something you're going to, you're going to use a lot or you're going to use on a lot of computers. All right, so I will put a link in the description for Tweaky, and then you can try it out for yourself. But I do recommend doing a backup of it or a system restore before you start messing with something like this in case something goes wrong. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.